Hello, welcome. Uh, welcome to Coffee Break Markets. Just a quick show in which we have a quick look at the markets and see how they're doing. Uh, so Bitcoin um, is up 0.39%, so just about, uh, with a high of 6,344 and a low of 6,200. Uh, if we have a little look at the, the six monthly, um, there we go. Uh, looking pre pretty pretty damn bullish, I'd say. Um, it's always hard to admit that it's bullish, um, but if you imagine this uh, chart upside down, then it would look scarily bearish. So I, I, th I think I think we're in a pretty good place. Um, we managed to break through that that six thousand dollar resistance zone without any any real effort, um, with, with all the Binance uh, news going on as well. So that was that was pretty impressive. Uh, so we've got in our little news feed thing here. Uh, how and traceable is Bitcoin? Blah blah blah. Um, well, this is why we need. Well, I think we need confidential transactions. Um, Facebook reviews crypto ad regulations, good or bad. Well, that makes sense if they're going to be shilling their own coin. Bitcoin SV. Bleh. Uh, why billionaire investor expects Bitcoin to struggle despite hitting 2019 high? I'm sure that there'll be, you know, someone on the other side of the argument who's also a billionaire. Um, yeah, not much going on really. I mean, there's still people, people are still talking about the Binance stuff. Uh, uh, I was amazed at how little of an effect it had on the market. So it almost felt like because things were good and because it was bullish that, you know, the Binance story with the, um, the, the, the concept that, that they could maybe reorg the uh, Bitcoin blockchain, which is a complete load of nonsense. Um, I, I, w I was sure that it was going to kind of reverse the price and, and bring the price, drag the price down, but it, it seems to be holding out okay. So Bitcoin seems to be, we had this spike in April, and then since then it's been building this nice upward channel with kind of an upward curve to it. So it's looking pretty healthy to me. Um, let's have a look at Litecoin, shall we? So here's Litecoin on the six month. Litecoin's got a nice, uh, was that an ascending triangle, I'd say? I think that's an ascending triangle, isn't it? It's kind of hit the bottom um, of this, uh, of its uh, little channel line it's been working on here. If it breaks down through that, it might be in trouble, but I imagine it'll bounce off and, and we'll probably go up as well. Um, how about Monero? How's Monero doing? Monero is looking a lot like Bitcoin, actually. Let's have a little comparison on, on Monero and Bitcoin. Let me zoom out on them. Zoom out on the Bitcoin chart. Yeah, no, Bitcoin's looking a lot more plucky, isn't it? There's Monero, and there's Bitcoin. Monero, Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin very much feels like it's, I mean, obviously they, there is some correlation there, but, um, you know, you'd be a fool not to admit that. But it, it very much looks like Bitcoin's um, pulling itself out of that ditch it dug itself into, whereas Monero seems to be flat. I imagine um, uh, Fluffy Pony will do some... Uh, Shilling, and I imagine he's got some updates on the Enterprise Alliance, so I'm sure that might pick the price up a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Ethereum, how are we doing? Ethereum's looking, is this a six monthly? Well, that's boring, isn't it? I mean, there is kind of a huge ascending triangle probably building there, which I'd say. Um, uh, and then I imagine there, there would be some breakout there. Um, let's zoom out a bit, see how, it's, uh, see how Ethereum is. Yeah, theory is the same sort of story as Monero, isn't it? Look at that, sort of flat. This is, hasn't got really, doesn't really want to make much of an effort. What it needs is it needs Bitcoin to, to storm on ahead and go bullish, and then you know a couple of months after that or a month after that, um, all those all that new blood into Bitcoin will think, ooh, there's these other coins, maybe I'll buy some of those as well, and then that'll pick their price up. Right, okay. So how's the UK hundred index? So UK top hundred companies here. How are we doing? So we go out to this, go to the six month. Oh, it's dipped quite a lot there. Um, yeah, it's not looking too healthy, is it? Uh, although in saying that, I mean, there is a kind of general upward trend, but it looks like it's kind of broken through a resistance level there. Why is that then? Uh, London investors skittish after Trump triad, tiriad, tirade even. Be help, help if I could read, wouldn't it? Um, Markets were lower Thursday after US president commented negatively on trade negotiations with China. All right, okay, yeah, so we, we need more capital to, to, to be able to invest in. And um, if the US breaks down trade agreements with China, then it's hard for um, for markets to continue to, to, to rise as they, as they have been. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Trump, he's an idiot, isn't he? Um, so, yeah, more more Trump-China uh, news there in the news feeds. That, that seems to be a pretty big deal. 
Um, that's probably why it's um, broken through that resistance line. So if he can sort his act out and if he sees the, the effect he's having on the on the markets, then I imagine he'll he could reverse that. Um, it's a lot of power for one dude. Um, right. So how are we how are we looking? If we have a nice zoom out here. Wow. Well, okay. So is that kind of like an inverse head and shoulder thing going on there? Maybe. Um, yeah. They're just, you know they're bouncing along. They're bouncing along. The UK is doing okay. Obviously we've got the the Brexit stuff coming up, so we'll see how that affects the markets. Um, the S and P five hundred. S and P five hundred. It's got this nice uh, upward channel, although it is kind of curving out um, and looks like it may be due to break down. Uh, let's zoom out on that one. See how that's doing in the great scheme of things. Yeah, yeah. I mean it. It you know it's the there's been a few a few scares. A few. It's not the the, the markets are definitely more choppy than they they were. Um, uh, you know, uh, a couple of years ago. But um, obviously then that's the the trump card, isn't it? So so yeah, it's just sort of steadily rising, but it's had a bit of a, re a reversal and going uh, gone down quite a bit in the past uh, over May. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Keep an eye on that. Um, light crude oil. How's light crude oil doing? It's pretty flat. Um, yeah, pretty flat. It's got an upward channel, which is broken down out of, and now it looks to me like it's doing some consolidating into a, um, into, what's that, like a, um, a descending triangle, I'd say. There's something of a descending triangle there, isn't there? Um, so I can imagine, I can imagine this breaking down somewhat. Um, gold futures, let's have a look at gold, shall we? Golds, yeah, gold's still getting hammered. Uh, in the great scheme of things, the past six months has been getting a bit of a leathering. Um, although, where are we? Okay, so over the past few years, it's just been just been choppy. This, I'm sure there's money to be made, but it's hard money to make. Um, to me, that kind of looks like a, a downward channel, like it's uh, another descending triangle going on there. Um, so yeah, not looking too good for gold, I'm afraid. Everyone's flooding into Bitcoin, it seems. How's Bitcoin Reddit doing this morning or afternoon even? Let's have a little look, see what's going on here. So the top, we've got our Andrew Chow partially signed uh, Bitcoin transactions while worth a watch. Um, what if I told you 2018 was just a bear trap? <laughs> That's good. Uh, so we got high, actually, there's more stuff about the, the Binance uh, fiasco. Um, I'm always bullish. Okay, so it's quite bullish. Everyone seems to be quite bullish on 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 Reddit, um, and then they're all chatting about Binance and how it was ludicrous, such a ludicrous thing to say. Um, uh, yeah, I mean we broke six k, so it makes sense that people people are feeling people are feeling bullish. There's a an art, a post here on Peter Willer unveiling his two um, uh, uh, bips, where he actually. Well, three bips, but I think he co-wrote one of the bips um, on Shinor and, and Taproot. Should be, uh, you should totally have a look at it if you, if you get a chance. Um, so yeah, another article here on Bitcoin breaking the 6K, um, clearing the way for substantial gains. I think everyone was quite impressed how it kind of stormed through the, the 6K barrier. So uh, what have we got here? Bitcoin hit six months high. Yeah, but will it hold 6K? It'll go up and it'll go down. Um, crypto community in shock over recent Bitcoin price resilience. Collective community bewildered by Bitcoin bullish momentum. Yeah, I am a little bit bewildered. Like I said, with the the Binance stuff, like that would have been enough to to bring uh, bring Bitcoin down onto its knees um, even six months ago. So I, there's clearly a lot of uh, momentum in Bitcoin um, if you can just shrug off that that kind of news, you know. Belarus exchange to offer tokenized government bonds. That sounds pretty cool. So, um, uh, uh, so in Belarus, uh, the government's going to look at tokenizing government bonds. Um, I've been saying for a while that that's probably the answer to you know crisis measures. So, so if we had a, a sort of sound form of money like Bitcoin, um, which people were using, and the government had less power to use inflation to kind of get quick capital, they could do a bit for next, and they could they could. Uh, tokenize some sort of government bond some sort of government debt which the, the government could then use float on a market and then use to um you know for, for funding for whatever cause 
and then people could then speculate on that token. So I, I it's an interesting uh, field of research here. It'd be interesting to see how that how that works out for them. Hopefully they don't get um, they don't get hacked. Uh, so yeah, not bad. JP Morgan. JP Morgan's quietly rebooted the blockchain tech behind its JPM coin. Oh, okay. Um, so why is that then? Uh, JP Morgan's technology teams very across the past six months. So I think uh, the the blockchain it was using. Um, what's the name of the? I do know because I've got another link up on it. Um, what's the name of it? It's, it's, it's like it's Go Ethereum, isn't it? So it's a, a fork of Go Ethereum. Um, uh, to Sarah, Quorum. That's it. Quorum. Quorum. Um, so that's uh, I've actually gone and got the um, uh, the GitHub up from JP Morgan, the Quorum GitHub up. So this is the the, the software they're using to try and build their um, JP Morgan coin, um, which we all like, you know, laugh at and you know sneer at. But I think it's pretty cool in a way because you know you've got JP Morgan Chase and um, they're you know investing in free and open source software. So we've got a nice you know they've got the GPLR license there, which is great. Um, it's got quite a few commits. Uh, there's a load of contributors on the project. It looks at uh, different consensus uh, mechanisms other than proof of work and um, uh, 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 proof of proof of stake. I went blank there, sorry. Uh, because obviously um, it doesn't need the same uh, security um, as, as Bitcoin. And it doesn't need to be decentralized in the in the same way, so yeah. So it's it's a, it's an interesting read going through the going through the GitHub. Um, I did say something. I had had something which I wanted to to have a quick look at. Maybe it's up here. Oh yeah, alternative consensus mechanisms. Uh, with no need for uh, proof of work or proof of stake in a permissioned network, Quorum instead offers multiple consensus mechanisms that are more appropriate for consortium chains. Um, now again, I know we all sneer at consensus uh different consensus mechanisms but you know i i i bumped into a professor who'd written a book i can't remember what the name of the book was on decentralized uh computer systems um before bitcoin and he's quite critical of bitcoin because he said there's a whole bunch of ways in which you could reach consensus um on computer networks which clearly don't have you know the same benefits proof of work have but they, they do exist and for some applications you know that level of consensus would be fine so Maybe that's what JP Morgan Coin are trying to look for, which is cool because it means it's not in anywhere near competition with with Bitcoin, um, and they're also contributing to free and open source. So the virus is spreading. The virus is free of free and open source. Um, so that's about it, really. Uh, I'm going to try and do these shows every day, just have a quick look at the markets, um, see how the Bitcoin price is doing, and then see how it compares with the other markets. So thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye bye.